Hello there, and welcome to another Super Mario Maker episode. Uh, today's a very interesting episode for me because this is going to be sort of the origin story of how I started on YouTube and Twitch, um, followed by uh, the level that got me there and the playthrough of that level. So uh, it all technically started with my creation of this level, Castrovania. Um, so I created this uh, reasonably difficult troll level uh, back in October. Uh, this The re-upload was in November of 2019, and I was kind of hoping that somebody would be able to try it and maybe even beat it, um, but I wasn't how to get the attention of other people. So what I would do is I would go through the new courses and play through hard levels and see if I could get some of them to try my uh, troll levels as well. Um, so after a number of troll levels, uh, the, there was one that was reasonably hard that I ended up playing and I thought I was going to not be able to beat it. Uh, managed to get through it and after a long time of playing, hoping, okay, hopefully this guy will be able to come back and, and try my troll level. Um, so I also thought when I beat it that there's going to be no way that anybody else is going to actually bother <laughs> trying to beat this level, because it was extremely hard for a troll level. Um, sure enough, the next morning, the record was stolen <laughs> by none other than Daryl, which you can see here, or Daryl. Um, so I see this <laughs> this image uh, above with the world record uh, for the level that I just cleared, and I, how could somebody have possibly beat my world record? So I went back, looked at his clear time, and then looked at the clear check, and the clear check was way smaller. So after that I was able to go through and actually find that there was a dev exit in the level, I was able to get the world record back. Uh, fast forward a bit, so then for all of Daryl's levels, uh, I went and tried to get the world record in all of them except one, which I could uh, not steal from Shalzar. Um, and he did the same, vice versa, I had all the world records on my levels. Um, so uh, until there was one, so then Daryl created this level, uh, Desperate Dale's Desert Daydream, which I had gotten the world record on, but then uh, another player, Shalzar, uh, the wizard, had taken the record back. So we had a bit of a back and forth, um, and one of the times he took the record back for me, uh, he posted in one of the comments a link to his uh, Twitch channel. Uh, so then I uh, went to the Twitch channel, uh, was able to eventually see him play through it. Eventually, uh, through enough back and forth, I was able to get the record back. But uh, so then I was following uh, Shalzer on Twitch, and after uh, that, shortly started creating my own YouTube videos uh, for some of the levels from that I was beating of Daryl and Shalzer. And after a few months of creating YouTube video content, I decided to start streaming on Twitch. So all of it can boil back to that one level that uh, caused Daryl and I to meet uh, through Mario Maker. Okay, so fast forwarding to very recently, uh, I saw there was another clear on Castrovania by somebody named Coconut, and the name Coconut sounded fairly familiar. So I went in and took a look at the courses that were here, um, and I played through a couple of the early ones uh, just because they looked fun and difficult, until eventually I stumbled upon this one. <laughs> so. Now, as he's described, he seems to have lost his old account, but this looks like a faithful recreation of the original level that he created that essentially was the very starting point that led uh, to me eventually being on Twitch and YouTube. So that whole big spiel out of the way, I'm going to try and remember how to get through this level and beat it in memory of the origin story of Fried 5 one on YouTube. Okay, cotton ball teeth for DGR. Oh man, I did remember that. Ooh, this looks different already. Okay, it's not too different. Um, I did remember I had to stand there though. Man, this has been like a year and a half since I played the potential old version of this troll level. There. So now here... I don't quite remember if that's the way it was. I think my memory is failing me because uh, in the other one, everything was left lined here, so you didn't actually see what was going on, on the left here. Um, so just a little bit of getting used to this again. And I don't remember if that spring was there last time as well. Okay, this looks a bit different from what I remember. Oh my gosh, the irony is it's possible 
that much of this is exactly the same as it was before, but it's just been so long <laughs> since I played it. Alright, so the on-off switch is going to trigger that thing to move, but not all the way. So we can actually get this first. I think this is actually pretty close to the first CP, as far as I recall. I do recall there being one of these. There we go. Got the CP. Remember, that was a little critical. If you went too far, then you wouldn't actually get the CP and you'd have to restart from here. That's okay. So we're back here. Now this looks near identical from what I remember, I think. Now... Uh, oops. No, I knew I didn't want to go there. Shucks. <laughs> just trying to... I should have just gotten rid of it like that. Um, so that's not correct either. So can I actually lose anymore? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I remember now why this part <laughs> was somewhat annoying. It's because of the soft lock. So I think I recall now what I was actually supposed to do is that I was supposed to jump, but jump high enough here and go up and over. So back we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, we do need the mushroom because we need to be able to get through this part. I think I actually recall that both of these paths in front were okay. I'm gonna go down the bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> It's all coming back now. Oh gosh. What was this all about again? I don't remember. There it is. Oh man, is this actually still beatable? I think this might still be beatable, but I think there's a, a, a no block I need to avoid. There we go. Not sure what that's about. I don't remember that. Okay. Can I just run here? No. So maybe I just need to go fast? Okay. Oh. I do need to go down there, I remember. Oh, there, that's how. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, I didn't remember that. Oh, my gosh. At least we have the CP. Thank goodness. Hopefully, I don't soft lock myself back to CP0. Oh, the mantra triggers the mushroom. Okay, so we need that anyway. Oh, gosh. Oh, what the? <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't remember that from before, so that was maybe a little surprising. That might have been a bit of a neutral. Okay, I'm just gonna do this the same way I did last time. Wait, what the? I didn't even realize that that was. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh god! All we have to do is wait here. Oh, now this one. Hmm. That thing's going to move. Every time I jump. No! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so close to the checkpoint. I remember I had some kind of strategy for that when I was trying to do a speed run of this level back in the day. I think it was actually somehow possible to make this gap. I just don't remember that no block being there. I might have had a little bit more running space. Oh gosh, I forgot about that too. Oh no, now the weird thing is, 
Either my memory is failing me, or I thought the CP was right past that point. So here, just want to spin on it right away, and then jump. Oh no! <laughs> I think I do recall there being that Koopa Troopa part, though. But I thought that was after the CP. Oh man, my memory's so hazy. Like this part's the only part where, other than having poor memory, I can actually screw up just by being bad so far. Yeah. <laughs> How was I too slow? How did I slow down so much? That's so weird. Okay. I think there's cannons on the ceiling. Oh, wait a minute. That's unfortunate. Somehow it's able to keep this shell. So don't think I can actually do that. I guess I have to... Oh, interesting. There used to be... The whole ceiling used to be covered in those. If I go right there, it could get soft locked. something... Oh! Oh, that's what it was! Ah, oh, man. I th thought I remembered that it w didn't have anything to do with the POW. I forgot it just had to jump, but that was a lot more treacherous before. Okay, now here there used to be a pipe going left. Okay, so this is now different. Also because there's no check... Oh, point! Hopefully there's a checkpoint soon. Maybe it's later. I think I actually remember in the first level saying I wish the checkpoint was later. This is actually where the dev exit was, as far as I remember in the old version. So, I don't remember what... Oh man. But I don't remember how this all works. I didn't even see it. Are you kidding me? How is that not enough? So... So it never actually comes back. I do remember there being a hint here. Three left. Oh, really? <laughs> so last time there was a flower there. Okay, it doesn't look like I can get that mushroom. I see what's going to go wrong here. Can I even get the shell up there? Actually, I can just do a shell jump. <laughs> but... Hmm. Well, that's not what I wanted. Oh boy. <laughs> Goodness. Wait, do I have to keep jumping over here? <laughs> Worst anti soft lock ever because it didn't actually work as an anti soft lock. <laughs> no. Oh, just why am I not firing fireballs here? Oh, weird. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. So there's.
there's two ways you can go about this. The way that you shouldn't do it, which is the way that I'm probably going to do it and lose. Okay, well, so much for that method. So, the idea here is you're only supposed to have three left. But if you spin, you're going to shoot a fireball, and you're going to lose one of them. So you need to do it with four. That part I remembered. There's the CP! Oh my goodness, thank god. Okay. Yeah, I do remember the last time when I was playing this level, wishing that the CP was farther ahead. So it is nice that it's at least at this point. Um, I do remember I needed a bomb. Pretty sure I needed a bomb. I'm pretty sure the bomb was in that one. This required very specific movements. Wow, that was lucky. And then there's a munch that comes flying out of there. No? Oh, so that's what happens. <laughs> it's been so long! Okay. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? Dang it! Oh, that actually works, okay. That's a little different than... Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, good. Phew. I actually do vaguely remember that now. There's a bomb that comes here. go. Or that. Oh, this part. I remember screwing up this a lot. Oh gosh, this isn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, I need to trigger that a little bit in advance. There we go. Through this part again. I hope I didn't make this part just seem easy, but... I remember it being harder to get past that one way that comes up here. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I remembered something, thank goodness. Oh wait, that makes this so much easier. Wait, why am I not? Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh, are you joking? <laughs> oh my god. The one time I happened to jump into the air, there is no way for me to recover. If I had just not jumped, things would have been okay. And I'm just going to try hitting this. Pretty sure we just need to wait for that to go boom. This part is familiar. Pretty sure hitting that note block is just going to kill me. Remember the, oh, I remember there being a complex puzzle after this, but it seems like things might be slightly different now. Oh, this, this is the hard part. No! But there's the end! <laughs> oh gosh, I can almost taste it. I definitely like the pacing the level now with... I mean, second CP is a little long. Or like, one to two, rather. But the length of two is much nicer. Um, there was an additional section in there that was extremely... Well, not really extremely difficult, but time-consuming. That last part is pretty hard. La 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 Okay, so we just need to dodge all this stuff, Toby. Try and show everybody your game? There we go.
Okay, so the trick to this is that... <laughs> Maybe this is actually easier than it used to be. There, uh, the trick to this before, I think the previous puzzle was more difficult. Um, and there were no blocks under the saws. Shucks. I think maybe there's a ghost there. It's funny how somehow you can still kind of get around that though. five cannons before. The part that was after this was almost like a one-screen puzzle that could have been its own level, from what I recall. But that part has been removed, so that simplifies things a little bit. There we go! <laughs> oh my gosh, we beat it! Thank goodness! Oh my gosh! All right, let's see. Let's see this horrible time that I have here. <laughs> if we horrible time, but we do have the first clear, um, and uh, really tempted to see if we can get the world record. Uh, let's just see if we can get a slightly better time. Certainly could be optimized a little bit more, but that wasn't wasn't a bad uh, one one try through. Uh, let's see what we have here. There we 
we go. 2 minutes 29 seconds. That's not too bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, that felt like a real throwback. Um, in terms of some of the earliest Mario Maker levels that I played, this was one of the most memorable, again, just because this was sort of the origin story of how I started here. But anyways, thank you, Coconut, for coming back and beating Castrovania. Um, my troll level was also fairly ridiculous um, in that it was a precision boss fight troll not quite speedrun at least, but it was a fairly long level. Um, so congrats for coming back and actually beating that to let me know that this account exists so I could uh, come back and beat your, beat your troll level. Um, so let's just give this a comment. Okay, and we're back. Thank you everybody for watching this throwback video of seeing the origins of my YouTube channel uh, as well as streaming on Twitch can all uh, be in some way, shape, or form brought back to this level. Um, thank you uh, Coconut for creating this level um, and allowing me to reminisce on those days in 2019. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care.